I quit my highly paid engineering job, which was earning me gazillion dollars per year, I started chasing my dreams and I never looked back. Sounds familiar? The resonation generation is hitting headlines all around the world and it shouldn't be at all that surprising given the amount of millennials hitting midlife crisis around this mark. But before you do your part, consider this. Success cannot be achieved with promises and New Year's resolutions. In fact, according to this book, success is a result of many slow improvements that amount to about 1% each day that eventually add up and become an overnight success in the eyes of majority of people. So you don't have to quit your job in order to chase dreams and be happy, there is a better way. So you've been working at the company X for quite a while now and you decided that now it's time for a change. But what is it that you hate about your job so much anyway? Is your boss a dick or your company takes you for granted or perhaps you just don't feel an emotional connection with your job anymore? Those are all valid reasons for quitting your job but only if you're doing your part and your company doesn't. This is important because sometimes the problem lies elsewhere. And you may not want to talk about it right now, but just bear with me for a few more minutes. Let's roll back the time a little bit, back to when the sky was blue and the grass was green, back to when you chose your profession and you followed the path to get the job that you really wanted, back to when it was all new and exciting. You made that decision and I would like to know why you made that decision. Why are you doing what you're doing? You must have been really excited about something. You see, I strongly believe that every person aspires to achieve greatness in life. This is natural and evolutional, and in fact it comes from Freud. As soon as our basic desires for hunger, safety and sex are satisfied, we begin our journey to achieve this greatness. The problem is our past can be very different. Some people like to win at all costs, some people like to win in style, and others put other people's needs above their own. You can visualize people's tempers and desires through colors. We all have favorite colors and those colors have deep meanings. Red is the color of war and instant decision making, while yellow is the color of happiness and enjoying life. Meanwhile, green is the color of nature. For example, my color is blue. I value openness and trust. I am an introvert and I frequently have anxiety attacks in large gatherings of people. I don't seek attention and I value organizational structures which I enjoy building. When people trust me to make important decisions, this is how I achieve my greatness. But what about you and what about your color and how do you achieve your greatness? Find out why you joined your company and what excites you about the work you're doing and where did it all go wrong if it has. Then start planning. Can you go back to basics? Will quitting your job help you to revoke those feelings? Or is there anything else you can do, perhaps a different hobby that ignite the same feeling? Do not just sit there, write those things down and also write down strengths and weaknesses for yourself. Think about it this way, when you go out on an interview and you apply for a new job, you are the salesman and the product you're selling is you. And you have to know your product. Who will buy your product if you don't know what it is yourself, right? It might take some time, but at the end of this exercise, you will find out your why and you will know exactly what to do next. However, if you don't do this, I can guarantee that one of the following will happen. One, you will not quit your job, you will not change anything, and in a year's time, you will be in exactly the same place where you are now. The second option, you will quit your job and you will be excited for a little while, but eventually you will realize that you still have to pay your bills, so you will have to do something else. Either you will find another job or you will have to start your own business, but because your business will be oriented at money, you will not enjoy it, so it very soon become just another job. Another boring, uninspiring job just like the one you have at the moment. Therefore, in the long run, you will not be better off anyway. 
You see, in order to know what you need to do, you need to first find out why you need to do what you need to do. Wouldn't you like to have a clear sense of purpose in your life? So use your why to set realistic goals that you can achieve. And with 1% improvement technique, you will know exactly what you're getting out of this because the result will be always in your sight. It's like climbing a mountain. You go one step at a time, but you have to go all the way and you have to commit to doing it because otherwise, what is the point, right? Another example. I do what I do because I like to help people to build products that they can envision but aren't able to engineer themselves. And this makes me feel valuable and important. However, I often struggle to express my feelings in a concise way due to anxieties I get. And also, my work is limited to only a few companies that I associate with. Therefore, running a YouTube channel will help me to build confidence in my speaking skills. And also, it will build my personal brand, attracting exciting new projects for me to work on. And it will do so one video at a time. So if you feel a little bit stuck right now, just adapt this formula to your situation. It includes four simple steps. 1. Find your why and visualize it as a color. 2. Write down one goal based on your why, which you can set to achieve right now without making any dramatic changes to your lifestyle. 3. Schedule a time to work on your goal and turn it into a habit. Dedicate at least 15 minutes each day to working towards this goal. And remember that the goal is not to get 7% improvement at the end of the week, but to get 7 1% improvements at the end of that week, and 365 1% improvements at the end of the calendar year. And finally, 4. Stick with the habit and be patient. Also, I can propose a little life hack to make it easier. Just use a calendar and mark every day that you work on your goal with a red tick box. And very soon you will find out that as your calendar gets filled up with red tick boxes, you are moving towards achieving your goal faster and faster. And you will be getting more and more excited about this with each passing day. But remember that there will also be days when you just need to show up. And you may not make a lot of progress that day, but you just have to do it for the sake of doing a red tick box in the calendar that day. And this is a very important psychological trick because it rewards your brain with a sense of achieving something during that day even though you may not have done all that much at all but you still have to show up so remember that so that's it really the secret of success is basically hard work please give me thumbs up and uh, subscribe to more content like this I will be talking about various engineering subjects so you will definitely find something interesting for you let me know your thoughts in the comments and feel free to message me on any social media and I'll see you next week